fear. <laughs> like, I, I feel like I couldn't give it justice. Because I, I really do think it's probably the most important beer that's ever been made. <laughs> I think what Bill and Hagen have set out to do with this Pilsner is, is it is the definition of a handcrafted beer. What they're doing in Pilsen today, um, it's, a, it's a long brew day, <laughs> um, doing a triple decoction, um, but I think it is essential to the character of this beer. Um, Again, it's a simple beer, but there's a lot of complexity in it, and that's because of the care that they take um, with the with the brew day. That you get a depth um, to to the malt. You get a little bit of caramelization, that kind of like bread crust to it um, that you're not going to get um, from a pale malt otherwise. Um, as well as uh, the special care that they take. Uh, with the water profile. Again, it's so important. You get that really soft mouthfeel. It kind of just rolls around in your mouth, um, but it's a little bit dry, so it leaves you uh, wanting a little bit more of this beer. And of course, um, using the saws, um, which is, you know, it's it's such a beautiful hop. It's, it's herbal, it's spicy, it's uh, floral. Um, it's another way that it invites you in uh, to this beer. And it's just just an easy drinking beer, which is what ultimately is why it kind of conquered the world. Prost. I'm one of the co-owners, co-brewers of Dovetail Brewery, and uh, I'm here to talk to you today about our lager. We wanted to make that lager that we dream about. The kind of lager that we had. Uh, it's like sitting in a beer garden in Germany or sitting in a small like family-run brewery. You drink it and you're like, oh, this is the, this is the best lager I've ever, I've ever had. This is like no other lager. It's got a nice stand of foam uh, above the, the rim of the glass. Uh, it's got this beautiful golden color. Uh, the sh it, we give it to you in a nice stein. You, you, the first thing you get is that aroma, the, the, the aroma of malt, uh, and maybe just a little, a little bit of hops. You get this like maltiness and maybe just a tiny bit of, uh, bit of sweetness. Um, and then, and then the, f the flavor dies away and you've got the aftertaste. And the aftertaste is just this nice kind of dry, pleasant uh, bitterness. And it's the kind of aftertaste that makes you want to take a nice sip or the, the next sip. Thanks very much. Prost. Yeah.